Hey everybody, so here is the, uh, the shrink wrap tutorial um, that I promised you. So what we're going to do is make this surface conform to this surface. Um, and it's really easy to do. So step one, um, I've got just a grid here with just a cylinder. Um, what I'm going to do is grab the the cylinder object, grab the grid, and go to deform, and we're going to use this wrap um, right here. So when I do that, you'll see that now this object is bending uh, to the grid, which is what we want. The next step is to grab the grid and then click the object you want to deform to and we're going to do a deform shrink wrap and this is what we're going to get so you can see we've got some problems here and this is probably because this guy isn't really subdivided too much um, let's just up that to make a nice smooth surface um, and the other thing that we can do is grab this grid and go up to shrink wrap in the attribute editor and we are going to mess with some settings here uh, the first thing you want to do for projection is vertex normals you can see we're getting a, a much better result that basically keeps the size of your deformed object um, and the next thing you want to do is under shape preservation controls we want to enable that crank your steps all the way up, crank the iterations all the way up, and under reprojection you want to put reprojection per step and click that. We'll go back and there's our object nice and deformed to the surface. And that's it. Very simple um, but also very cool. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. You could create gun barrels this kind of thing. Um, it's really, really powerful. Use it all the time um, for all kinds of stuff. So there you go. That is the tutorial. Thanks, guys.